Michelle and Barack Obama have worked hard to keep the details of their daughters' lives hidden from the public. So they probably weren't pleased this week when an article was released exploring their 18-year-old daughter's net worth. Morning Ledger reported that Malia and her sister Sasha have $200,000 and $450,000 in 529 college plans, and it looks like they will need it. The first presidential daughter graduated from the Sidwell Friends School in Washington, D.C. and will be taking a gap year before studying at Harvard University. According to the source, Malia's net worth is difficult to track. She has been working in the film and TV industry since before she could drive. Of course, her father's wealth is much easier to uncover. As the current president, Barack Obama earns $400,000 a year. Celebrity net worths estimates he is worth $12.2 million, but that is not entirely accurate given that he receives book royalties, has investments, and accrues monetary awards and prizes. In fact, his upcoming memoir is predicted to earn $20 million, and the Nobel Peace Prize alone earned him $1.4 million. Barack is the breadwinner, but sadly, Michelle is not far behind. She likely offers $11.8 million in her books, investments, and assets. Taking all their earnings together, the Obama family has more than a $23 million net worth. It looks like their lavish lifestyles will continue, even after they leave the White House, but at least they will be reaching into their own pockets, instead of ours. Hello everybody. After eight years in the White House, Michelle and I now rejoin all of you as private citizens. We want to thank you once again from the bottom of our hearts for giving us the incredible privilege of serving this country that we love. We also want to tell you a little bit about what we'll be up to next. First, we're going to take a little break. We're finally going to get some sleep and take some time to be with our family and just be still for a little bit. So we might not be online quite as much as you're used to seeing us. But before that, we want to invite you to help us with just one of the projects we're excited to work on when we get back. Check out this website for our future presidential center. The center will be based on the south side of Chicago, but it will have projects all over the city, the country, and the world. More than a library or a museum, it will be a living, working center for citizenship. That's why we want to hear from you. Tell us what you want this project to be, and tell us what's on your mind. Send us your ideas, your hopes, your beliefs about what we can achieve together. Tell us about the young leaders and companies and organizations that inspire you. This will be your presidential center just as much as it is ours. So we want you to tell us what we should be thinking about as we get to work. It's going to take all of you and your ideas to make it a reality. As I've said many times before, true democracy is a project that's much bigger than any one of us. It's bigger than any one person, any one president, any one government. It's a job for all of us. It requires everyday sustained effort from all of us. The work of perfecting our unions never finished. And we look forward to joining you in that effort as fellow citizens. Thank you, and we will see all of you again soon. Bye-bye.